Good afternoon, everyone. Phil Simons here with Columbia Grain and your Friday afternoon weekly grain market recap. Well, we're going to dive right into it as we actually did end the, end the week up on a, on a positive note in corn and soybeans. Kind of a mixed bag for wheat, but let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's take a look and see uh, what the markets gave us here on the week. So I am going to share my screen with you and we're going to navigate over to our favorite website, ColumbiaGrain.com. And in the upper right hand corner, we're going to go to the producer solutions tab, and that's going to take us over to our producer solutions link. And again, this week, we actually did start the week off uh, looking at the crop progress report. We continue to see a harvest moving along for both corn and soybeans uh, throughout the U.S. and moving its way north. We take a look at corn percent harvested as of Monday. We're actually at 14 percent harvested. Uh, for, for the U.S., but when we look at North Dakota specifically, uh, as of Monday anyway, we were at 0% harvested. Definitely starting to see the combines rolling in that area now, though. And when we take a look at soybeans from a national standpoint, we're actually at 13% harvested. And in North Dakota, coming in at 8% cut. Uh, so again, definitely uh, starting to see the combines rolling out there. So please continue to have a safe harvest um, as we continue to move forward. But realistically, we actually did the wind the week out on a fairly positive note here on both corn and soybeans. Wheat was kind of a mixed bag, uh, but again, we're continuing to monitor some weather events that are uh, starting to creep up in South America, which was giving a little bit of a positive spin uh, to the futures markets, which actually did get some of the short fund positions to look to cover, you know, a portion of their uh, short position as they uh, moved into the weekend here. When we look and see what the actual price action was, uh, we see that Deese Corn had a 18 cent weekly range, actually able to hold on to a net gain of 17 cents over in the Deese Corn pit, which is definitely nice to see, you know, right on the cusp of harvest here. But when we look at soybeans, soybeans was the big benefactor here on the week. We actually had a weekly range of 57 cents, and we actually able to hold on to a net gain of 53 cents uh, week on week. But realistically, with that with that weekly change of 53 cents, a lot of our a lot of our facilities in North Dakota are posting close to a ten dollar cash uh, price off the combine for for harvest delivery soybeans. So definitely get a hold of your local managers and buyers and take a look and see what we can do for you there in terms of contracting, just to take advantage of these need this knee jerk reaction that we're continuing to see here. You know, especially when we are looking at what weather events to drive the markets, uh, all it takes is just a, a forecast to quickly change that. And all of a sudden, that 53 cent gain could be a, a dollar, <laughs> a dollar loss. So definitely be sure to get a hold of your local managers and buyers and get your orders out there, if nothing else, um, and maybe take advantage of some of this uh, reaction that we saw this week. We we'll turn the page and we look at uh, at the wheat complex. We actually see that Kansas uh, Dees was able to hold on to 11 cent gain week on week. Uh, Chicago wheat uh, was actually able to hold on to a 10 cent gain, and Minneapolis really a big goose egg, uh, zero percent or zero zero dollar change week on week. Um, you know when we look at the Minneapolis market there. Again on Monday we're gonna. Um, We'll also have the quarterly grain stocks report along with the, the small grains annual summary. So that'll definitely have some implications on the markets as we uh, really lay the lay the week out uh, based on some USDA fundamental data. So definitely be uh, be tuning back in to see what those numbers were uh, on the week to see what uh, what the implications will be as we continue to move forward into, uh, into harvest for corn and soybeans. Uh, other than that, we're going to go ahead and wrap everything up for the week here. Remember, with uh, with the fifty three cent range or the gain that we saw on soybeans, we are posting right close to ten dollars uh, from a cash standpoint. So get a hold of your buyers and managers and take advantage of some of those price uh, swings that we saw this week. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and wrap everything up. Uh, remember, if you can drink it, don't trade it. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk with you next week.